Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand. Welcome to another video. I'd like to thank those of you who follow me here, subscribe to my videos. Do so because you want open, honest debate, scientific debate. You strive to think logically. You want to come to your own conclusions. And above all else, you want to live in reality. So on that note, let me tell you about another shocking tweet from the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, the top public health agency in the United States responsible for food and drug safety. A few months ago, I put out a video with another crazy tweet from the FDA that was truly unbelievable. It was talking about eating pizza and chocolate. And I didn't think that they could better that in terms of a terrible tweet and public health message. But lo and behold, they have. Check this out. Thumbs up for National Cereal Day. Your kids love sugary cereal? Mix a little of that one with a whole grain, nutrient-packed one for a win-win. And then a link to a USA.gov website. So I truly don't know where to start with that. But let's talk sugar consumption first. Because it is one of the main reasons for our metabolic health disaster not just in the United States, but across the Western world. And if we're talking about children's foods, children love sugary foods? Well, of course they do. Food conglomerates make it so. They make the food addictive. So children and adults will always want to go for it. Millions of children all over the country are being fed dessert first thing in the morning. Now, children's health has really suffered because of this over the last few decades. We have soaring rates of obesity. Obesity levels were a fraction of what they are today a few years ago. Now it's estimated over one in five, over 20% of children are now obese, not overweight, but obese. We have correspondingly soaring escalating rates of other diseases like diabetes and fatty liver disease in children and adolescents as well. Diseases which were previously found much later in life. It was unheard of a few decades ago to diagnose fatty liver disease in children. And we are doing absolutely diddly squat about this. Our public health agencies are not seriously addressing it. And I could talk for a long time about the science of metabolic health disorders, about topics such as insulin resistance and de novo lipogenesis, but I will save that for another time. But let's stick with the FDA's logic here and think about some other public health messages that they may want to put out. Do you enjoy drinking alcohol? Do you love getting drunk? Well, why not have a bowl of almonds and walnuts as you drink alcohol? Because they are good for you. Do you enjoy eating burgers? Next time you eat five large Whopper burgers, please also remember to drink a probiotic yogurt as well, because that is good for you. Do you enjoy lying on your couch for several hours every day? Well, why not do this? While you lie on your couch watching TV, eat a bowl of healthy green vegetables at the same time. Or do you enjoy smoking? Are you a smoker? Next time you smoke cigarettes, eat a bowl of blueberries at the same time because blueberries are really good for you. Dear oh dear, we are completely lost. And once again, this is our main public health agency in the United States, the FDA, which puts out a tweet like this, completely failing to address the root cause of a metabolic health catastrophe in our country. Their message should be unequivocal. Children especially should be cutting back on sugars, fructose, corn syrups, processed foods. There are no ands, ifs, or buts. This must be the public health message. Not telling children who love sugary food to eat some whole grains with the sugary food. I've got nothing else to say about that. How lost are our public health agencies? In fact, I wonder what future tweets are on their radar. Thanks everybody for listening. Let me know your thoughts down below. Dr. Sunil Dand. Do hit the subscribe button for more similar videos. You can also follow me on my uncensored platform where we have more open, honest discussions in a less constrained, less censored environment. That link is down below, as is the link to my newsletter. We will talk again very soon.